This is part 4 of my 4 part series on the People's Gregic Society. Remember to watch the previous 3 videos if you haven't watched them yet. We will now proceed with our scheduled programming. The supersymmetry event was scheduled to begin on July 23, 2023. Since I go by lots of names is going to cover the event in his own video. I will not spoil anything that happened, except for a few small incidents inside of the PGS. Well, as the developers of supersymmetry, we did not want to have any suspicious behavior in our server. And by suspicious behavior I mean hackers. This is why we decided to ban Zach from entering the event in the first place. Because all he can do is hack. Zach has done a lot of suspicious stuff. Like sending malware to some guy that did not like him. Hi. My Discord tag is Zalgo239. I am re I am a nuclear physicist. So, Zach just started an harassment campaign against me and included the personal information in the post. This is how I reported Zach to the EU privacy watchdog Hope. He enjoys trying to get a job with a European company in the future. Even if all of this was publicly available information, Zalgo decided to sue Zach for an invasion of privacy and ban him from getting a job in the European Union. Zalgo determined that this Reddit post was a harassment campaign, which was an interesting claim, as the Reddit post has a total of three views. Zalgo would then claim that he would attempt to sue Zach to bite over this incident. Another interesting choice, considering that Zach to bite is 15, whether or not this worked out is unknown. A few moments later. The weekly PGS Stargate stream starts in 40 minutes. Sorry for the delay, I had to sue Zach. This is the part where we find out that Salgo is bullshitting. There is no way you can sue someone in 30 minutes. Hell, yeah. even the conversation with the lawyer will take more than half an hour. Salgo is doing this because he wants to appear powerful. And on July 23rd the event started. Let's see what happened there. After the supersymmetry event has started, the PGS has suffered several catastrophic incidents. Let's list them here. Incident number one, entity grumming. The PGS was losing manpower. Some people, like Taliabi, just did not even enter the server. I switched to a different team because the work conditions were insane. So Zalgo decided to skip the entire voting process and decided to just add more people. First of all, Planet Me added man 22222222222, which was highly experienced in Greg Tech. Having fought in the 2017 Terra Firma Greg Wars, Planet Me also invited Kresim, who has not played a single minute of Greg Tech, somehow, and Zalgo also invited 15 people halfway through the event because the PGS wanted more manpower on the event, because Supersymmetry is a very grueling pack. About half the server quit by day 4. The constant inviting of new members has made me and Dalia be very angry. Incident number 2, Chinese Great Workplace. The workers of the PGS had to work way too much. All PGS members were supposed to be on voice chat at all times while playing. This was up to 12 hours a day for some people, sometimes. Before I took a break, Zalgo would yell. Don't take a break, we need as many people online as possible. Zalgo took Sussy seriously. He took two weeks off of work to play this thing, and he wanted to enjoy it. Zalgo was also extremely paranoid, yelling every time the iron door leading to the entrance of the base was open. Planet Me would set up a massive Google spreadsheet with all the tasks for everyone. We would have hourly check-ins for each member to update on tasks and progress. He would also, quite literally, speak in chemistry. You would come in VC, and here. Alkylate the natural gas. What does this need? Sulfur dioxide, manganese heptoxide, Phillips catalyst. Is the solution concentrated yet? Incident number 3. LHC Tunnel. Supersymmetry's latest update introduced massive trains to the game, so I decided to set up my own railway in the nether, digging to an allied base. This was approximately 12,000 blocks of tunnel, all dug manually over a process taking around 6 hours. I also had to deal with immersive railroading's immersively stupid track system. Every time Salgo would see some kind of war going on, 
he would order Planet Me to seal up the tunnel for a few meters. One time I logged on and Talgo decided to seal up a full kilometer of the thing. It took 30 minutes to dig it back. In the end, the train only got used once. An enemy team of the PGS has found out about a bug in the large gas turbine, which made it possible for infinite energy to be generated. Zalgo pushed an update to get the bug patched. Before the update was added to the server, he would whine about the fact that our enemies violate thermodynamics. Well, they violated thermodynamics. They learned about it the hard way. He would continue to do this in voice chat for about 6 hours a day, until the bug was patched. He really had a personal hatred for these guys, and he wanted to get back to them, by implementing a mod called Gregicality Warfare. With GCYW, as he calls it, launching nukes and artillery will require real physics equation, that only he can solve. Region, make sure you don't put anything from GCYW in the quest book. The quest book is a guide for single player, not multiplayer. I want to see them cope. You'd be surprised at how good I get at making people feel like idiotic, stupid and useless pieces of shit. I just don't like doing it. I can't do that, or I'm the asshole. You don't seem to understand how complicated I can make it. Enjoy the statistics problem. If they attack they straight up, we'll not be able to progress in the sequel event at all. Since space exploration will be fully realistic, make sure they understand that having the PGS as enemies is a very sure way to not get to space. The general playstyle is going to be unviable, so whoever uses it will be pretty much screwed. GCYW will give us an advantage. I planned the whole run of the event on purpose. If someone bothers me again, I'll do something that cannot be prevented or mitigated, and that will ruin the fun for everyone. Incident number 5. Man on the Moon. On August 3rd, an enemy of the PGS posted a screenshot showing their team on the moon. This irritated Zalgo quite a bit because rockets were impossible to get at this stage. This was posted at about the same time that Zalgo was having an important emotional event in real life. Instead of quitting Discord, he did this. This little f***ing me while I was re I swear to God, I'll manage to get back at all of them and legitimately scar all of them and their families. I will send malicious packets. I don't care what kind of bullshit I have to pull, but I'll get back at them for the stress they piled on me and the continuous f***ing. Zalgo, if you are feeling that bad in real life, don't spend every day from 2 p.m. to 3 a.m. on a Minecraft server. Please take a break. I cannot. I don't have much free time. If I want to carry on a project, I can't take breaks. When you get to do a PhD, you will understand that. I was not angry. I was just annoyed. But when the event ended, there were talks of having a season 2. Ego by lots of names did not want to have a repeat of the event because now he has to edit 700 gigabytes of footage. So Zalgo decided to take matters in his own hands. I will use a better machine, three times better than the one used by Igblon, maybe we will be able to have 200 players. Also, instead of two weeks, I'll make it last at least a month, maybe even two or three. GCW will allow much more development of individual groups and much more dynamic and interesting conflicts. We will have much more content in general. I will ask anyone with a YouTube account to join and record and will compile a comprehensive history of the server. I'm going to use whatever connections I have to get it out in some publication as a real social experiment. Because actually, what we played was not supersymmetry at all. At this point, me, Taliabi, and Sailor got pretty sick of everything. We got fed up of Zalgo's constant bullshit about deleting supersymmetry and the server so he decided to remove Zalgo from the PGS. Since removing Zalgo means that he would probably try and get every remaining member to go against us, like what happened with Gleese, it would be better to remove everyone. The plan would happen on September 11th, 2023. We spent about a week planning the event in the so-called 9-11 group chat. The plan was divided into three phases. Phase 1 involved luring Zalgo into a voice chat for a few minutes to make him watch a YouTube video of a shitpost show called Adventure Man. Phase 2 involved making a large collage of all of the funny Zalgo pictures shown in this video. 
and creating a channel called The Circus. This was done by Talibi, and it was based on a Russian trolling method called the JOB protocol. Phase 3 involved inviting 100 people to the PGS server and having Sailor stream a spinning wheel, which contained the names of all PGS members except 5 of us. Every time the wheel hit someone, they would be banned, then, we would ban Zalgo. It is also important to know that Sailor was promoted to Arbiter rank sometime in July, so we have the support of 3 Arbiters. Before starting the trolling plan, we added a timer to our Discord status. Counting down to 9-11, people started picking up on the timer. I go by lots of names found it, he started telling the entirety of his Discord server. To set their status to 3 days, this included Zalgo, which would be the victim. Are you okay? You're gonna die there. Three. Oh. I also posted videos on YouTube with the timer to make everything even more confusing. Three days. Until what? This was truly a test of patience. The plan started at 4.30 p.m. on September 11th after several technical issues, like Sailor getting a corrupted hard drive and having to call Mohammed from Kurdistan to deliver a new HDD to his house on time, but everything got fixed, and so, we started. What the Greg am I looking at? Where is the Greg tech? This is so deranged. What the Greg? What the Greg is going on? What weight region did you make this? I'm trying to figure out what the Greg is going on. It's completely off. I don't know how to describe the stuff on screen. Why am I watching this? I have stuff to do at work. Region, is this the final episode? Yeah, it is. There's not really that much time left. Only about a minute or so. Don't leave because Gregorius T appears in this episode. Good afternoon, Zalgo. I want to play a game. What is this? I really don't have the time for this. Do you want to play this game too? It won't take too long. No, I really don't have the time. It won't take too long. Sadly, what you have done is unavoidable. And what have I done? Look at what you did, Zalgo. Activation of the JO, the protocol has been requested by Talib at 128 as an extreme measure. Zalgo, this is a list of many of your worst quotes from PGS and from Sussy. The goal is to debate and successfully convince everyone that you are not an egotistical, manipulating asshole. Failure to reply to any of these quotes results in excision by class 3 personnel. Arbiter privileges have been removed. You cannot delete other people's messages. Deleting your messages results in excision by class 3 personnel. You now have 120 minutes to complete the challenge. Remember that the circus is possible to survive. J.O. E. has done it in the original Russian instance after fighting for 24 hours. Your chances are small, but not zero. Good luck. I'm the one who keeps getting those jabs pointed at. Of course, it's just a problem with my ego. Now I'm busy figuring out how a flood of people will try to demonize me because I lost patience with them during the event. I'll go for the scorched earth technique. Susie ceases to exist. What does that have to do with anything? Antagonize. Demonize. Antagonize. Tiliabi would return to his original creation, the People's Grejek Society, to start anew. All of clearance levels 1 through 3 were gone. Zalgo was gone, Bruburu was gone, basically every other arbiter besides Tiliabi, Sailor and Regin were banished as well. Besides that, there weren't many other candidates however. 
because all of the banished PGS members would regroup, to form the PGSU, or the unofficial People's Grejic Society. There wasn't much set up yet, but there was still a foundation at least. Pan Smith would be the owner of the Discord server, the original Arbiters would be regranted Arbiter rank, and the clearance level system would be abolished, with everyone else being on the same rank. The citizen rank, according to Mimi XP, the PGS manifested in the hearts of the people, so they decided that the PGS unofficial was the true PGS, stealing the name from me and Talibi. Unsurprisingly, the next several hours would be a yelling match between Sailor and approximately 60 other people. Some people think that Sailor manipulated us to do 9-11, even though me and Talibi had the original idea to troll Zalgo. This has resulted in Sailor getting thousands of funny messages from people he never even knew. He even received threats, which is too much for what is just a small Minecraft server. But one thing was clear, the PGS would never be the same again, and Taliabi, would see that the PGS achieved its final form. The People's Grejek Society, but translated to Russian, abbreviated, as the GON, or, the